Welcome to the My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video on how to link application and case information to My Compass PA. If the user created a My Compass account but has not yet linked their application or case information to the My Compass PA mobile app, they can link their account to the mobile app to view application and case information. There are two things to note here. First, if a user does not have a My Compass account but would like to create one directly in the mobile app, they can tap the Need an Account? Create One Now link. Account creation is covered in the demonstration video titled Creating a My Compass Account Using the Mobile App. Second, when the user logs in, they might be prompted to confirm their identity. If the user is having difficulty confirming their identity, they should view the demonstration video titled Logging into My Compass PA for the first time. On the app login screen, the user enters their My Compass account login information and taps the Login button. After logging in, the user is taken to the app dashboard. To link application and case information to the mobile app, they must first tap the Benefits button in the menu at the bottom of the screen. On the Benefits screen, the user sees two buttons at the top of the screen. The first and default button is Cases. The next button is Applications. When the user taps the Applications button, the Benefits screen will show the user the benefits for which they applied and the status of the related application. Viewing benefit and application-related information is addressed in the demonstration video titled Viewing Benefit-Related Information in My Compass PA. The focus of this demonstration video is on linking existing benefits. So, the user taps the Link a Case button to proceed. The Link Benefit screen will appear. Here, the user will see three options to link their benefits. They can use case number, chip information, or LIHEAP registration. Note that if the user chooses, they can tap the Cancel link at the bottom of the screen at any point in the process to return to the benefits screen. To use their case number, first the user will select their county. They could tap the county field and then type their county name in which case the county will appear for selection. Or, the user could locate and tap the relevant county to select the name, which this user does. Back on the Link Benefits screen, the user enters their seven-digit case record number. If the user doesn't know where to find their case record number, they can tap the Information button next to the Case Record Number field. An image of a sample notice will appear. The image will show a red box surrounding the area where their case number appears on their notice. After viewing the sample, the user taps the OK button. Next, they'll enter their social security number. If they don't know where to find their social security number, they can tap the information button next to the social security number field. An image of a sample social security card will appear. After viewing the sample image, they'll tap the OK button to return to the previous screen. If they choose not to use their social security number, and instead want to use their MCI number, they can tap the I want to enter my MCI number instead link. The social security number field will switch to an MCI, medical ID, EBT card number field, and the user can enter the correct number. If they don't know where to find their MCI number, they can tap the information button next to the field. Two sample images will appear one of a sample EBT card, and one of a sample medical ID card. A box surrounds the area where the user can find the EBT or medical ID number on their cards. The user will tap the OK button to return to the previous screen. The second option to link a case is using their chip information. To do so, the user taps the chip button. Here, the user enters their nine-digit UFI number or chip number and Social Security Number, or MCI number, as previously described in the Case Number option. The final option, if the user receives a LIHEAP preseason registration number, is for the user to link their case using their LIHEAP registration number. To do this, the user would tap the LIHEAP button. Here, they enter their LIHEAP registration number and Social Security number. Again, the Information button is available for both fields. If the user doesn't know their LIHEAP registration number, they can tap the Information button. An image of a sample LIHEAP card will appear, 
with a box around where the LIHEAP registration number is found. The user will tap the OK button to return to the previous screen. The Social Security Information button was previously described in the Case Number option. This user will link their case using the Case Number option. They tap the Case Number button and enter their case information. They select their county, enter their seven-digit case record, and enter their Social Security number. After ensuring the information is correct, the user taps the Link Benefit button at the bottom of the screen. The system confirms their information. Afterward, the user will see a screen that reads, Success! Your benefits are linked to your account. Log in again to view your benefit details. Please note that it may take three to seven business days for the changes to appear in the app. Also, if the user's information is incorrect, a message will appear informing them that the information entered doesn't match the records on file. The user can attempt to correct any information and tap the Link Benefit button again. Finally, if the user has no active, pending, or recently closed benefits, or they have no recently closed case, they will receive a message stating that they cannot access their account. This is because there is nothing to which their account can be linked. If they wish to apply for benefits, they can do so on the Compass website. The application and case information can then be linked to their My Compass account. Here the user taps the Log In Now button. The system logs the user out and takes them back to the Log In screen. Here, the user can log in again to view application and case information. Thank you for watching this My Compass PA mobile app demonstration video. Please note that links to all My Compass PA demonstration videos appear in the video description below. Have a great day.